All right, here we go. Let's give this another try. We'll count down game number one between P. Carrick and Ramations. And we'll go in three, two, one. Tetris. This time we do not have mirror Tetris happening as both players opt to put their pieces in different places. There's Tetris for peak. What we do have is more accurate calibration, so whatever it was on peak side has passed. As we're already entering a drought early on. Ramations is stacked incredibly high here compared to peak Eric's. We need that long bar for the Tetris. P. Carrick is in an early lead, but does have to take a couple of burns. Needs to resolve this column 3 4 will. And it's not going to be able to, so Ramations will take the lead. Another Tetris for Ramations. There's a Tetris for Peak to keep it within one Tetris. Formations look for a long bar here. But another drought hitting. Wow, this is this is significant. Wow, bang Tetris for Ramations. That was long. 34 pieces. And we'll see the resolution here on Peak side. Bang Tetris. Nice adjustment there for Peak seeing the long bar coming, so we opted to make the long bar dependency. Now needs a long bar to score with, but hey, what do you know? It's another drought. Thank Tetris for our rations. This one will go 20. And 19. Close enough. So our rations with a 66,000 point lead, but it's also ahead by nine lines, which means it's about a one Tetris pace lead. Now you can see it's very close in lines. So we get more Tetris's in 247 for Ramations, 220 for Peak. We're approaching the halfway point in level 18. Peak with a long bar dependency. Of course, this is a very dry seed. Well, this time they come in bunches. Ooh, this is an interesting solve here for Peak here. He's going to get it done with that triple. That was a great play from Peak. And now the board's back to normal. And he's only down by about, well, about 1.72 Tetrises, according to Mistress Champs. Another Tetris for Peak. Man, that's that solve for Peak was pretty good. It would have gone sideways if you know he didn't get the uh, J piece, but ended up getting it, had no problem with it. Now it's Ramations that's in a bit, bit of trouble, so that means that Peak Eric here is going to have an opportunity to take the lead, and he does right there. 325, playing 324. Around level 18, Ramations still with a little bit of a burn left. A couple more lines should do. There's one, there's the other. And Peak in the lead by less than a Tetris. Yeah, if you can if you can get a Tetris ROM, of course we're not going to tell you how to do that, but um, there's a way to patch the original Tetris ROM to use Tetris Gym, and then you can use that in an emulator like Messen. Or even works in I mean, if you're really desperate, it even works on Delta for iOS. I wouldn't recommend rolling on an iPhone, though. Another drought coming in here. There's a Tetris for Ramations. Tetris back for Peak Eric, and then Ramations again with a Tetris. Yeah, Peak Eric going to have to burn a couple lines. This game is knotted back up. There's a Tetris for Peak, only ahead by 4,000 points as we are approaching the level 19 transition. That will go 100 lines. And once we hit level 29, we'll 
double the speed. And if the players can stand it for that long, that will go 100 lines before we double the speed again to the super kill screen, which so far has lived up to its date. We'll see a level 40 every once in a while. But the list of players who can get level 40 are, yeah, it's a short list. 563 is the transition for Amations. Be careful, looking for the long bar, and there it is, gonna transition at 565, so neck and neck. As we start level 19, love that overhang, but Pete misses the, the uh, tuck. So he's gonna have to burn a couple lines. Fortunately, not fatal, but now just a horrible selection of pieces for this board. And absolutely needs a long bar here. Can burn once. And he's not gonna wait for the long bar, but gets the Tetris. Opening that left side back up, but Ramations has taken quite a lead already. Three and a half Tetrises in the lead for Ramations. I'm pretty sure Alex has gotten more than 140. Nice burn there for Ramations. Just doing a quick bridge burn. But again, the seed is white dry. Tetris for Ramations. Peak trying to go dirty here, but no long bar. 25, 26 piece drought and counting. And it just doesn't stop. What is this drought? 33 pieces. So Peak having to burn all the way back down to the bottom. Ramations at a bit of a jam. So Peak has an opportunity yet again to get himself back into this. Although Ramations might be considering going dirty here in a moment and will get the dirty Tetris. So what little chance Peak had is now gone to try to get back into things. Eight sixty-eight for Amation, seven seventy-eight for Peak Eric. Peak back by four lines. So it's not terribly significant, but it does mean that the lead isn't as big as it looks. In fact, the pace lead is less than two Tetrises right now, so this is still within reach. Another Tetris for Peak Eric as Ramations gets into another dig. Again, Peak scores and Peak trying to get back into this is Ramations board. Really complicated here. A lot of spiking action happening. Gets a very much needed L there. Now needs a J. Isn't going to wait for it. And we're on level 28. Ramations only has eight lines to get this down. I'm not sure that's going to happen. Oh, a bit of a misdraft there for Peak Eric. He's going to score a Tetris 959 to 953. We're in level 29, and Ramations gets a board down. Bang, Tetris to go to 998. Another Tetris for Peak, who is not in level 29 yet, and can get one more Tetris. Would take the lead with it. Doesn't go for the Tetris. I actually agree with that play. He's going to get one there. He trails 1,029 to 1,045. He gets another Tetris to take the lead. Ramations back by about 20,000 points. Peak has some work to do to clean this up and is getting it done. Oh, but can't get the five tap over. He's gonna have to try another one at some point and that one doesn't go over. Ramations, you have a chase down. You need A73. And of course on level 29, it is not free. Even if this player is, even if these players make it look free, it's not free. And we have, a, of course, another drop, but finally gets a long bar over. Bang, Tetris, Ramations. We'll take game number one. That was very back and forth. And Ramations, nice double there. Very reminiscent of Peak's triple earlier in the game. And that'll do it for Ramations. 1,174,000. And we'll go in three, two, one. Tetris.
All right, Rommation's going to open with a Tetris. Peak still looking for an opportunity to score one himself. There's the long bar. Another one there. Of course, these two were very close on level 18 in game one. In fact, Peak only had a, what was it, a 2,000 point lead, 4,000 or something like that after transition. It was small. And this game very much, game one was very much decided on 29. Long bar dependency for Amations here. And now another one. Couldn't resolve the first one and just had to plug the well. And same thing's happening as we get into another drought here. Bang Tetris for Amations has a very dirty Tetris. I almost felt like automatic though. Just because of the way the pieces spawned in. Like, there's no other way to resolve that board. It's going to finally get the well... Oh, no, it didn't play the long bar. It's going to have to dig a little longer here. All right, right side now open up. Where's the long bar? There it is. Bang Tetris for Amations. Oh, but he's going to hang the S over on the left side there. That's going to be annoying. Gonna try to clean it out pretty cleanly here with just three burns, but ah, oh, that other S had other plans. So this is gonna be annoying for Ramations to clear out. He might just opt to play two rows up. But in order to do that, he's gonna need to resolve the left side. And this is getting all kinds of complicated for Ramations. That's a lug bar dependency. He just, just plugs it with a T right away. Interesting not feeling the J dependency right away, but does get another J, so no problem. Only a triple there, and he hasn't really been able to take a whole lot of liberty with this opportunity as Ramations has a Tetris well ready. And there's a long bar. Bang, dirty Tetris for Ramations. Is within two Tetrises, but ahead by seven lines. We're halfway through the level 18 speed. Another Tetris for Amations. And again, Tetris. 298 for Peak Eric, 249 for Amations. Amations ahead 1 nothing in this best of three. Or best of five, rather. First of three. I should say. So both players will get long bars scoring Tetrises. It's a two Tetris lead for Peak. Long bar dependency for Ramations gets the long bar. Another Tetris for Peak. As we're just about at the 100 line turn. Another Tetris there. Go ahead and take that tuck. Ramations, those rows one and two have remained in those positions for quite some time. We'll see if Ramations cares enough to dig that out before 19. And he's going to take it out right now. It's like Bang Tetris can get that T over there and takes the two burns. So Ramations is finally clear. Not going for the double long bar dependency. But these pieces are not helping him out. And Ramations in a little bit of a jam here. We're 14 lines from transition. He's got a long bar dependency and uh, covers the well just as the long bar shows up. And again, with a this is a double long bar dependency right now. Oh, this is not good. Gonna open up the right side, but that is not a Tetris well. Not even it's not, it doesn't even clear a single, and you can see Ramations almost. 
got caught caught by the phantom bird we're transitioning to 19 really high up at 430. this is so dangerous one misdrop or bad piece sequence and this one's all over gets that center well open again and finally we'll convert the triple Peak Eric's up by 110,000 points right now. And is back in lines by 10. So Peak in very good position in this one. Another long bar dependency does get filled by the long bar. I think Ramation's... Uh, he was considering a dirty Tetris, but the pieces didn't really work out and wisely aborts that. And now it's just going to go back to the standard right well, clean for the first time in a while here. Peak Eric has just been scoring 612 for Peak 466 for Ramations. It is a massive lead for Peak Eric right now. Another Tetris for Ramations. And another one. He had to take a triple there, but his long bars will be coming. And bang Tetris for Peak. Ooh, misses the T to the left. Let's get the five pet tap on the long bar. I have to take a couple burns here. So giving up some of the lead, 99,000 points. Bang Tetris for Ramations. But that 99,000 points also comes with 10 lines available to get more of a lead with. So, I mean, this is still a very large lead for Peak Eric. Not only does Ramations have to play solid, he has to hope that he has a massive slowdown somehow, but it doesn't look like that's going to be happening anytime soon as he has been playing with, uh, call it peak efficiency. Tetris for both players. The real time leads 120,000 points. There are 11 lines separating them that make that lead bigger than it looks. As we are approaching the level 29 transition on Ramation's side. He had to win this on 29 last game. And it's looking more of the same here in game number two. Where's the long bar? Oh, Ramation's selling out the stack here. He's gonna get the long bar for one Tetris has five lines to give, and it's going to start burning here. This is not going to be a very safe height for level 29. Bang Tetris for peak, 991. Ramations into 29 at 860, and is burning this down. Has the right side open. Bang Tetris. There's a max out for peak, Eric, with the Tetris. 1,029,918. to 918. And we are in level 29. Peak's going to miss... And L to the right gets a long bar over for her last couple lines, but that is going to be it for Peak Eric. Rob Asians, you have another chase down. You need A35. It's less than two Tetrises. We'll see if he chooses to line this out or go for it with the Tetrises. He's going to set up for a Tetris here. And gets a long bar. Bang Tetris A17. Set up for another one, but had to cover immediately. So this is dangerous. And that'll do it. Ramations by 400 points has got it. And props to Peak, who's getting these leads into 29, but... Ramations with back-to-back -back chase downs on the kill screen. Finds himself up to nothing. All right, there it is. We have readies for both players. Let's go and count this down for game number three. And we'll start in three, two, one, Tetris. I just noticed SV also has a perfect record in Division 1A. Currently 3-0. Of course, Alex T got it done against Sunny. SV got it done against Timmy Kim. 
Pixel Andy got it done against Cole, and Ramations also against Cole. So still early days in Division 1A, but... We might be getting our fifth sweep in five tries. Unless Peak Eric can hold on in one of these games. Like, Peak's been playing great. But the 29 for Rumations has just been better. But who knows? That may change the next game. We have a pretty hot start for both players here. Only a few lines burnt total. Ramation's going to the uh, Sidnev school of pushdown points. Or point, should I say. And Peekerick with six rather than one. So that and a single is the current difference. Players building some interesting stacks here. So far, they're working out. Akibar for both players. And Bang Tetris for Peak Eric. There's one for Ramations and another one. Yeah, perfect record just basically means you have no games lost. Almost all the Div 1 matches have been sweeps. Uh, yeah, there's been a couple that have not. Sidnev 3-1 over Chiller. Uh, Tugi 3-1 over Ansel. And Dangler 3-1 over Tegamek. All the others have been sweeps. Which is kind of unusual. I feel I feel like... Um... I feel like sweeps in Division 1 are not the most common outcome. We're getting a drought here as Ramation's up pretty high on the board. Doesn't really have great burn options here, and is going to have to cover the well. It's going to get pieces to open it back up. It gets the long bar down. Bang Tetris. And another one. Peak Eric's board has kind of fallen apart here. Oh, very good adjustment. Bang Dirty Tetris for Peak Eric. This board's fine. <laughs> another good adjustment with that square to make room for the L. Couldn't find an adjustment for the Z, though. But we'll just get that long bar and then clean this up. But the damage is done. The lead is over four Tetrises. Bang Tetris for Ramations. 394 for Ramations through 76 lines. This is a monster score at the moment. Of course, I said something, and now this is happening. Bang Tetris hits 419. I actually think Fractal vs. Miles could be a very interesting match. Miles will definitely have to bring his A game, though, to have a shot. But, you know, he brings his A game. Anything can happen. Oh, Ramation's going to miss a spin there. So it's going to burn away some of his lead. It's down to two and a half Tetrises at the moment as we're approaching the 100 line turn. Oh, Peak's not getting a good run of it either. Would have liked to put a square down there, but... Let's see, what is he thinking? He's thinking dirty. And he's going to get the dirty Tetris, only burning one line there. Nice play from Peak. And another Tetris. As both players are clean, the pace lead is about two and a half Tetrises for Ramations. Another Tetris for Peak. And you can see it's two and a half Tetrises with one line of difference. And of course, it's another Drought. Ramation's going to have to do a burn soon. Wow, this is not short. Bang Tetris for Ramations. Another 30 plus drought that game. That was a 34 piece drought. 
Uh, Ramesh's getting into a little bit of trouble right before 19 here, but should have room to handle it. That square does not help. That square does not help. That was 614 is the approximate transition there for Ramesh's. He can at 562, but will open with a Tetris as Ramesh's is opening with a lot of burning and is not getting very good pieces to support this burn either. Hikarik is right back in this. Bang Tetris for Peak. Takes the lead, 638 to 631, but Ramations will take it right back with that Tetris. But Peak with a Tetris, we have the lead changing hands back and forth. He could take the lead for good for a while here, at least, with that Tetris. And another one there, 719 to 690. And bang, Tetris, 747. Oh, this board looking kind of scary for Ramations. I was going to get a Tetris to bring it down, but now has to work on digging this back out. And Peak Eric once again is going to open up the lead here on the 19 speeds. Another Tetris to go to 805 on level 23. There's Ramations that had the pace on 18. But Peak is turning it on on 19. Another Tetris. And Ramations finally has cleared this down. Well, the pace leads about four Tetrises right now. Bang Tetris for Ramations. There's one for Peak. Right side open for Ramations. Has to take a burn. This Tetris for Peak Eric. Another Trout coming in. Comes a point where you feel like a broken record. There you go. Bang Tetris for Ramations. We'll take a triple there. But it is all Peak Eric right now. Another Tetris. This one a little bit dusty for Ramations. Has this. Oh, dear. This is not a good time for this for Ramations. This is like a 20... R Ramations was trying to turn this into a 29 chase down challenge, but each level gets harder. Peak in a bit of trouble here. He's going to have to do some burns here. Don't give Ramations an opportunity to perhaps close some of the score before level 29. Peak gets that over. You can see that. Grimacing on his face. To score that Tetris. As we have the max out for Peak Eric. Another Tetris. And we are right at transition. Bang Tetris. 1,099,000 for Peak. 983 for Ramations. And this time, Peak is pretty solidly into... Twenty misses a tap to the left, but it's going to get a Tetris to go to 1.14. But now, going to hang the long bar to the left, and that's going to be it. Ramations, you have a chase down. You need B46. Oh, that missed drop. Can still save it with a long bar or something to burn. And we'll do just that. He's got this all the way back down to the bottom. Needs another 55,000 points plus. Less than two Tetrises away. Oh, that hang, but he's going to get a long bar over it. That was scary for a very brief second. We are getting closer and closer. But this board is climbing. Another 20,000 points is all Ramations needs. Oh no, the hang to the left. He does get a long bar over it. 5,000 points remain. He just needs a couple more burns. And that T-spin is not enough, but that will do it. 
Ramations. Playing with fire, but not getting burned. Gonna take this in a sweep. Three, nothing. And for peak Eric, that was, that was some games. Oh, there's some very good games in there from Eric. But just not enough to get it done. Wow. And that'll be the level 39 super kill screen as Ramations will play a little bit into it to finish off on a D 1,313,000. And there is your winner. Ramations chair. <laughs> GG's. All right, both players are ready. Let's count down for game number one, take two. Well, might be in a little bit of trouble here. Get anything to that left side. He can't get the J over. I can't get a long bar over though, and this second one doesn't go. Uh, Portal is in some trouble. I don't know if he can do anything. Oh, the L's go over, but that's not gonna be enough. He doesn't get the pieces, and he's gonna top out 8-11. Hey, okay, just uh, how's the supports? Oh no, oh no, maybe he can't. Oh no, just crack it too high. Couldn't get the pieces over. It's the Tetris, but his stack is moving up very, very quickly. Can't get the bar over. He's gonna top out 1.26. What does he have? How much runway does he have? He has, he's in level 33 now, so he has plenty of time. Does need something over to the left side though. He gets the bar. Oh no, he hangs the bar. He can't get the other one over either. He's not going to chase it down. Three, two, one. Tetris. For a second, but we are, um... oh no, that was, okay, the J doesn't get over. Lombard does though. Oh, well, and he's gonna hang in the next one. I don't know if they're gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I don't know. It's say because it's gonna top out. The square all the way. Oh, gets the lombard, but that's not going to be, might be enough. No, that's not gonna be enough. And he is upset. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, there we go. That's the thing. All right, both players are ready. Let's count down for game number one in three, two, one. Oh my God, I did the wrong thing. Tetris. Also count it down. You can start now. Let me hit the countdown timer. I hit the, did the wrong thing. I'm doing my best. Okay. There we go. They've already started. I missed the first few pieces because I am silly. That's fine. Sunny is up by a Tetris. It's like a. Mr. Champs just slightly confused as to where the, uh... What a, what a Tetris is and when it's happening. Ford is being saying beautiful skin. Yeah, both players, uh, yeah, good start so far. Not a whole lot of Tetris happened so far, so far. Also, I don't know if Sunny knows this, but like, when Americans say Parmesan, it's like different. I don't know if it's like they have like the weird shaky parmesan that's not actually parmesan in the uk they give the good parmesan that's like expensive and that's like real cheese and you have like craft parmesan which comes in this little cylindrical plastic bottle and it's uh no it's, it's i mean I, I i eat it because it is easy and cheap and it is good on pasta and other dishes. And uh, both these players are tied. Separated by less than a thousand points. Sunny gets a T for a tuck, would like another one and gets it. We're on the bar now. So he's ahead by a few lines and also ahead by a few points, so I guess that kind of cancels out there. 258, 236. We we're pretty early still. 50 to 55 lines in. Alexi is shaking his head vigorously. I guess there's a few burns and... Probably saw what you should have done instead, but, you know.
Alex is rocking out. He's, uh, I mean, this is a little bit of a jam, not gonna lie. So he's taking a bit of a lead here. Um, <laughs> they're both doing it now. <laughs> Just bopping along. Uh, 373 for Sunny, 332 for Alex T. We're about 75 lines in. Cat jam, that's right. <laughs> So he is very set up, maybe a little too set up, but he's gonna get it down, gonna take the safety triple, gonna get a long bar, gonna get a Tetris. Four of four, Sunny not found. Paid by about three Tetrises, also hit by 10 lines, but 10 lines, you can't score three Tetrises in two lines, you can only score two and a half, so that's the lead. It's actually advanced strategy, only the best in the world do it. You know what I do? I used to do it more, but now I don't as much. I would like, rock while playing Tetris. Like, I have a rocking chair that I play Tetris in. And I would just, like, rock back and forth while doing it. Which I think helped. The problem is the rocking chair is kind of a POS. I got it from, like, a the, uh, queer uh, thrift store in Capitol Hill in Seattle. And, like, every time I sit down in it, I, like, a different piece of it falls off. I don't think it's a Somehow it's still like the core functionality is still there. Like the got a anyway, 501 for Sunny, 475 for Alex T. Really close game here. As we are. I don't see Claude backs on the base, but Sunny didn't really have a whole lot of lead to begin with, so you know, I'm tied. It's a good, I don't know, it's a comfortable chair. It just kind of hurt my knees a little bit when I sit in there, but I think that's just me being old more than anything else. I'm like 34. I'm not old enough for my knees to start hurting. This is unfair. I'm going to deal with this for the rest of my life. It's depressing. Both these players, you know, gonna... Gonna have some... Gonna have a... Uh, I don't say solid. What's a... Uh, what's better than solid, but like... Not as good as outstanding. Both these players looking for a low 600 pace. You know, good. Quite good. There we go. Quite good. That's their... Transition score is Sunny goes 619. Alex oh, still got a Tetris available to him. Clean game so far. Let's see, just not getting the bar. There it is, finally. 616, so pretty much tied up. Both plays more or less, you know, taking what the board, what RNG gives them. So you have to take a few burns. Does it very efficiently though. Just kind of, you know. Nice little double to get the board situated. You know, it gets a long bar. Gets a couple long bars when the wall wasn't open, so. And I was a little bit worried on the left side. Alex T looking okay. Left start looking pretty normal. Oh no, Sunny is suddenly looking very not normal. And this is going to be really spicy. I don't know if he can survive this. I don't know if he can. he's trying, but the pieces don't come. He's going to top out 684. Alex T is good for game number one, three, two, one. Tetris. So he's saying, it's Alex, resident sleeper. I mean, we, yeah, we got a, yeah, a few sleepy heads in the community. So he's setting up something there early on, getting tucks for it, though. So who knows? Stacking. Ends up having to take the burn anyway. <laughs> Every lion in 18, a battlefield. Trying to squeeze as much as possible so you get like a 4,000 point advantage going into 19. That is how the game is decided. <laughs> Both players looking pretty even here. So he's taking one more burn. He's also gotten a pushdown point. Going for the Sidnev strat of getting a pushdown point. Beginning of the game. Because you never know when it's going to come in handy. I mean, it's probably not going to come in handy. The, the game, these players are probably going to be separated by more than one point at the end. In all likelihood. So that's my prediction for the game. Uh, you can call me an Nostradamus if I get it right. Um, Alex T is like screaming. Really top out of 19? 
I don't know what the uh, I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know if there's some sort of emergency happening, but he's up to one to CC two. He's taking the lead. Oh, ooh, ooh. gnarly hang T hang from. So he gets the Z all the way over there, so he gets the bar. Nice. Okay, that's going to be helpful. He's uh, still not great. Ooh, nice. Okay, he's uh. Okay, that double. Wonderful. And I think he's okay now. Quite the dig from Sunny. He gets out of that. Uh, okay. Show he can roll. That's uh, definitely. He's actually. Okay, he's not out of it. I spoke a little too soon. But. Jinx out was saying, please don't let me jinx everyone's support. Well, I mean, that's the thing. He just uh, put on quite a bit of a show there. He's uh, definitely lost a lot of pace, though. He's out of it. He is. Look at that smile on his face. <laughs> just shaking his head, kind of just making sure he gets reset here, because uh, probably required quite a bit of a concentration. 191 from Sunny, 249 for Alex T. Alex T got a 2-3 Tetris lead here, so I guess 3-4 Tetris lead. Also kind of has, you know, a level of lines in hand. Which is 10, 10 lines. It's a, that's a level, but we're not on 19 yet, so it's not actually different levels. So any experiencing a drought, he's still, you know, board's still not looking great. Tetris, Alex, is like doing some sort of calisthenics. Uh... Woo, all right. <laughs> I just I, instead of like just commenting what's going on in like Sunny's board, I'm just gonna like make noises. I'm just gonna like woo at it. I'm just say man a lot. Oh man, oh man. Okay, that's pretty. You know, he's it's, it's down. He's he's reopened as well. He's down triple digits now. It's two seventy nine for Sunny, three eighty eight for Alex T. Oh, Steve's so going to burn his burn his stack down. He's got he's got place to pace to play with. Uh, <laughs> creative adjustment. I don't know if there's adjustment or reaction to a misdrop or what, but uh, Alex T gets like a was going to put a piece to the right and decides it's going to go to the left instead. Currently waiting for a T. Uh, there you go. Gets it finally. Gets the spin. Is clean. Uh, Sunny is not. Trying to get this board to just behave. <laughs> He's just. <laughs> he looks like he is about to murder someone. That someone is probably me. Um, but anyway, he's at 311. Whoa. Um, <laughs> Alright, I guess the triple. He's at line level one line one twenty, so he's gonna have to get this down before uh too much more Tetris happens. Um Alex T twelve lines away from transition currently at five thirty six, you know. Getting it down, okay, there we go. Uh, Sunny transitions at 327, which is truly one of the 18 games of all time. Um, but he's fine. He survived some pretty scary uh, stretches there. So, you know, not going to win if you don't survive. That's the... Oh, he's at 586. He transitions as well quite a bit after Sunny. So, got that. Uh, got a few lines to react to Sunny's actions here with... Getting it down. He'll be fine. He has a triple and he is pumped. Sunny is, you know, closer to being clean than he was. Um, Alex T 640, Sunny 370. Um, I'm see, kind of getting. Oh, Sunny's clean now. He's kind of trying not to let Alex T double his score here. 
I used to find a few away. Oh no! <laughs> just another misdrop, and he's just, just laughing. He all he can do is laugh. You know, it's just he's. I was gonna say he's set up, but he's not. There's holes in his stack. He's just, he's trying his best. Um, fingers aren't working. Uh, <laughs> this is a pace of all time. Yeah, he's a. Uh, he's staying alive. You know, he's uh, some. Uh, what we say in this situation? Good survival skills. Um, hey, uh, it takes a triple. <laughs> please say, please survive, Sonny. And we can, uh, I think, uh, you know, we keep this up. We can see a nice uh, kill stream score of 600,000. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, just, I cannot not give Sonny a hard time. Um, <laughs> three, sorry, 432 for Sonny and a level 25. Um, <laughs> 818 for Alex, which is closer to normal. Um, good. <laughs> I want this to be a million deficit. Yeah, it's going to be hard to be the 2 million game. Maybe it's like, the thing is, like, that wasn't some, a 2 million game. Some long it even played bad. It's just, what do you do with 2 million? <laughs> you know? Sunny is, uh, gets a bar for dependency. I don't, I don't know what the last time Sunny scored a Tetris was. It was just, it was, uh, he's going to misdrop the J. I just, I want to see this game continue now. I'm just, like, invested in him, like, just getting just limping his way through like all of um 39 because he's I, I think we buy back past the point where he can catch up here i mean 976 but it's against alex t you know but some sort of <laughs> but you know i just i just want to see it keep going uh 470 so alex he has a max status so alex he has officially doubled sunny's score um He's suddenly set up for the Tetris way up high. It's like, it's like he's got 